it's gamer time. It's daylight savings tonight. Yeah, oh, I like never know until someone tells me. So you know what's really funny? I like two days ago finally figured out how to do it. Not daylight savings on the car. Wait, what kind of car do you drive? I have a Hyundai Elantra. What year? Oh, nice. It is not what it is, we still have friends. This is going to stop people from uh, trying to steal it. Oh, yeah. No, trust me, I like, live near Portland every time I see a place where I can buy. I don't know what it's like, but... Huh. I mean, yeah, I want to go back to Portland. Oh, what? <laughs> How many people turned into a place? Oh my god. <laughs> no, he, um, Matt shot a center at me and, it, like, do and I dodged it. Somehow. On my screen, it, uh. It flew, like, upwards for some reason. It didn't even go for you. It just didn't do anything. <laughs> it was very strange. <laughs> Wasn't it? I think someone told me that uh, if you're like completely new to TMBO, that uh, play as a brimstone is like it's like a good car for like beginners or something. Yeah, it's really easy to just fire singers because it's a special that I mean you need skill to hit good players with it one one, but in a team battle. Um, when someone's occupied with another person, it's probably the easiest special. Yeah. On experience, but because they, it just moves so slowly that they never expect it, and yeah. if they don't shield it directly, then it just. Yeah. Yeah, because my younger brother briefly played with us like a couple years back, and uh, he only played a uh, brimstone, and he was actually pretty good. But he was so used to like modern games having like no lag and whatnot, so like he couldn't deal with like the lag that uh, TMBO has, which sucks because like he was, I thought he was pretty good, but he was just like, yeah, I just he couldn't get used to the lag, I guess. I will say TMBO was a game that demands a lot more from its player than the average game Oh, most definitely. I think you're being too generous. <laughs> but yeah, like it's funny. I tried playing um, Overwatch 2 last night with a couple of friends of uh, with a couple of buddies, with a couple of buddies I work with, and like they're like you know three four years younger than me, like in their early twenties, and they're like all about that shit. And for me, I'm like, dude, what the fuck am I doing? I'm like, shit is <laughs> happening so fast. It is probably the most like visually distracting game I've. Oh, ever played in my life. Overwatch. Dude, God damn. It's dude, impossible I'm, to see anything in that game. I know, like, shit's ha so much shit's happening on my screen. And I'm like, am I just being a boomer right now? Or am I, like, legitimately, like, just, I don't know. Yeah, Overwatch has just actually got, like, usually, um, like, fuck! Damn it. I slid off. But, yeah, I don't know. Like, I told him I might try it again sometime, but it's just too much. Yeah, I, I come from Team Fortress 2, and that that game, it is so easy to see your enemies. 
Oh, definitely. Yeah, I, I remember playing Team Fortress 2 in the orange box on my 360. Fucking Christ, I just, no, thank God I didn't slip off the side. Um, but yeah, I, I, the orange box was like one of the first games I got for my 360 back in uh, 2007, and I played the hell out of Team Fortress 2. I hope I hit the right person. The first one? Oh, Team Fortress 2. Oh, okay. I said Team Fortress. Huh. I think I tried I Team Fortress. TF2 occasionally. There's a Discord for, well, the Xbox 360 Team Fortress 2, but the people there are like. I actually stupid. have that, but I mean, I picked up the Orange Box version just to see how it is, but I haven't actually played it yet because I need to set it up recently. I thought it was okay, but like, there's some people in that lobby and that Discord that are just the meanest fucking people you've ever, I've ever met in my life. Like, they take the game way too seriously. There's the 360 version. Yeah. I mean, trust the people who play the old console version that doesn't have any updates. Yeah, I think that's why they like it. Because it's like basically vanilla TF2. Yeah, it's very strange. <laughs> I mean, it's a neat little part of history. And it's fun to look at and experience. But there, there's a reason it got 10 years of updates. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, it's funny. I remember I got it for my brother. My younger brother had paid for it on Steam, like right before it became free. attention to the game, so I've been like, just thinking about like, our conversation. Shoot the shit. You shoot the shit, you play like shit, you know. I hate these fucking slips. See, I know it's never going to happen. <laughs> I mean, it might be a fun experience once, but actually taking it seriously, that would be weird. Only if they had, only if you had like, uh, infinite weapons or something. Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, it wouldn't be, it wouldn't be meant to be, like, taken seriously, just like a little quick fun match. Like, it's so small that I feel like that match would end relatively quickly in, like, five lives. Well, there was no weapons, though. Oh, it would end slower. Oh, actually, no fuck, I didn't even think of that. Yeah. Well, I mean, if eight minions, two lives. Eight fuck. Specials only. What are you doing? I'm getting back. <laughs> Fucking hell. Oh. Make this slick have a mic or just a headphones? No, but is it? Like, I don't think I've ever actually heard uh, Slick Talk.
my god. Well, apparently I just ran in and killed everyone. <laughs> Big Slick did all the work, I was just cleaning up. <laughs>